Hello, I'm Solomon with Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff, and today we're going to be showing you how to install the CSA driver for the Gobi 2000 card on a Panasonic Toughbook CF30. One, first, what you must do is you must open your browser and go to this URL. I will link this URL in the description below. It is uh, the same as, you know, you would download any other driver except the ending character is wireless carrier. So uh, it's Panasonic, uh, business.panasonic.com, computers and tablets, downloads, wireless carrier. Once you receive, once you land on the page, go to multi-carrier options or multi-carrier software. And then there will be a carrier selection app for Gobi 1000 and 2000. The way to download it is to download now, or you can actually have it mailed to you via CD. You have to put your information in, click the file, click save as. I'm going to be install. I'm going to be saving it in a folder in my drivers right now. Um, so you just save that and then it's going to take a few minutes to download. It may vary depending on how fast your internet is. And this is just the installer file for the CSA, but this includes a, a lot more files than just the installer file for the CSA. It also is the Gobi files, and also there's a miscellaneous file. So just a tip, um, or just a fact here, you have to install the miscellaneous driver or the MIS driver before you install the Gobi driver. That's a requirement. And you also have to uninstall any other files or pre-install Gobi apps before beforehand. So uh, I'm going to put this on my desktop right now, the CSA folder, and then I'm going to take out the installer file and then put that right on my desktop too as well, then delete the CSA folder from before. Now I'm going to click on the installer, wait for that to boot up. And there you go. Now we got to click next. Uh, you have to agree to the license agreement, then click next. Now this is asking you where do you want to save, or where do you want to expand the folder. So what we got to do is that we got to delete that, and we're going to put it on our desktop for now, just to, just so that it's easily accessible. Uh, let's change that for now, and uh, we're going to just browse and select desktop. Okay, and then make sure that it's going to a folder labeled CSA, and then click next. Now as it's extracting you'll notice that the folder is going to be appearing on your desktop. There it is. You know, this could take several minutes to to expand, so if it's not going very fast, don't worry. It's, it's doing what it needs to. And this is not a very, very small amount of files. There are a lot of setup files in this folder, including the MIS folder, including the MIS uh, driver, which should be already installed that I spoke about earlier. And I will also link a tutorial on how to install the MIS driver if your MIS driver is not installed already. Okay, now that we've expanded the folder, we're going to place it back in our drivers folder, which is util drivers. There we go. Now at this point we can go to our Gobi 2000 pack and we're going to go to drivers, the drivers folder in the Gobi 2000 pack and click setup. We're going to wait for that to boot. Accept the license agreement, then click next. Now at this point, it's installing the Gobi driver 
on your CF31. This could take several minutes. I repeat, this could take several minutes. So don't expect it to be extremely fast. This is a process and it's going to take a little while for this driver to install. As you can see from the blip at the bottom of the screen, it's installing the driver software currently. So you are now installing your Gobi driver, your Gobi 2000 driver. I'm also going to link how to install a Gobi 2000 card in this tutorial as well. If you haven't installed your Gobi 2000 card already, please reference that video. All right, installation is complete. Your Qualcomm 2000 driver is now installed. Gobi 2000 driver. Okay. Now we're going to go back to our CSA folder. And we're going to click on CSA pack. All right, now this is our carrier service application. We're going to set that up now, so we'll click the setup file. And wait for that to boot up. And there it is. Click next. Now at this moment it's installing the carrier service application. So this would take this will this can take up to several minutes as well. So don't expect it to be a super fast process. It takes a little bit of time. It's now just expanding all the files. I repeat, this can take several minutes to complete. This actually probably takes the most time out of this entire tutorial. It also requires a restart, which you will see. So we're actually gonna have to reboot the computer. There it is. So click finish and make sure that yes is selected. Okay, once your computer is rebooted, find the carrier selection application, double click the icon, Okay, welcome to your carrier service application. Now we're gonna install it, click next. And at this part, you can select whatever carrier you're running through, Verizon, Sprint, AT&T. So this is where you're at, this is where you need to be. I'm not going to go farther past this part because this is for the customer and this is between you and your carrier provider. I'm also gonna link some tips on how to get past this point and a little bit more help. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment at the bottom. If you have any concerns, all feedback is appreciated. Don't hesitate to reach out. If you, also, if this video was helpful for you, don't forget to hit the like button as well as subscribe to our channel. This is Sally signing out. Until next time here at Bob Johnson's Computer Stuff. Thanks for watching today. For more repair videos, click the link below. And remember, if you have a screwdriver, you can fix a computer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.